JWST has set its sights on the incredibly beautiful galaxy M82, also known as the Cigar Galaxy. This is a small galaxy, but it exhibits some incredible star formation, and by zooming in with JWST's powerful infrared instruments, we get to see some of its stunning features here. Let's dive into this starburst galaxy and understand exactly what we're looking at right here. M82 is 12 million light years away in the Ursa Major constellation, also of Big Dipper fame. And despite being a small galaxy, it hosts a frenzy of rapid star formation activity, birthing new stars 10 times faster than our own Milky Way galaxy. It's also about five times more luminous than the Milky Way, and that goes up to a hundred times more luminous in its core. We think that the rapid star formation on display here is being triggered by interactions that this galaxy feels with a neighbouring galaxy known as M81 as tidal gravitational forces deform M82 and squeeze the dust and gas to the centre. Using JWST, we've zoomed into that central region to gain a better understanding of this star formation and how the star bursting affects the whole galaxy. We actually have two brand new images of the galaxy from JWST, but they're actually both taken with the near-infrared camera NERCAM on the telescope. However, just like the entire spectrum of light, the near-infrared section itself contains a range of wavelengths of light. It's not just a single wavelength or colour of light. The two images are made from light from different parts of the near-infrared spectrum, although each one uses three wavelengths from their range. The bluer-looking image uses the shorter wavelengths from the range, while the redder-looking image uses the longer wavelengths. Star formation is hard to study, and it remains a relatively mysterious process because it happens in regions full of dust and gas. These things are needed to fuel the star formation, but it means that the regions are particularly hard to image. JWST has an advantage here because infrared light is especially good at penetrating dusty regions and imaging behind the gas, so these new images are especially enlightening. Both the Hubble Space Telescope and a much older infrared telescope called Spitzer have imaged M82 before. It's a pretty popular target because it's seen as one of the best examples of a starburst galaxy. Those other telescopes both imaged a much wider view of the galaxy, while JWST really zoomed in and focused its images on just the central region, where most of the star formation happens. Despite that, the difference in quality is astonishing. And while these images all have their own beautiful properties, the JW1 is particularly stunning, I think. What an upgrade we've had in the last few years for space imaging. Dark brown tendrils of dust are threaded throughout M82's bright white core, and small green spots and specks show concentrated areas of iron, likely to be supernova remnants. That is, the corpse of a dead and exploded star. Red patches are places where molecular hydrogen is being illuminated by the radiation of nearby young stars. Each white dot in the image is either a star or a star cluster. So by using these images, we can get an accurate count of all of the star clusters in the galaxy for the very first time. In the longer wavelengths of light, we can see clumpy red tendrils extending above and below the plane of the galaxy. These are gaseous outflows caused by powerful winds being blown out of the core of the galaxy, caused by the rapid rate of star formation and subsequent supernovae, as these stars burn out and explode. This galactic wind, as we call it, is one of the main things being studied with the work that this image is from. The team are trying to understand exactly how hot and cold components interact within the wind, and exactly where it's coming from in the galaxy. The red filaments throughout the image show small dust grains known as polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons. Generally, these things get destroyed in hot conditions, but we see many of them here in the previously unrevealed fine structure of the wind, suggesting they might be being continually replenished by the starbursting and supernovae, or some other process happening in the galaxy. Work will continue to understand this even better, and to help us understand this and other starburst galaxies. In the near future, there will also be spectroscopic observations of M82, and that will help the team determine accurate ages for the star clusters, and understand how long different phases of star formation last in the galaxy. When we hear updates on the beautiful M82, I'll cover them right here on the channel, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that and all the other space-themed videos we have right here. Thanks a lot 
for watching and be sure to leave me a comment down below letting me know what you think of the image or asking any questions you have about M82 or astronomy, astrophysics and cosmology in general. Until next time, stay safe team. I'll see you soon. Bye.